a little beautiful story. There was this young man, and all young men and women are, are energetic. They're very enthusiastic and uh, they're on fire. No matter what you say to them, they don't have the brakes. They just put their foot on the accelerator and try and speed as fast as possible. As we grow older, we tend to hit the brake more often than the accelerator. But while we're young, there is no brake. It's a V8, brother. Push it. So this young man went to this old man. And he said, Father, today I will do something. I'll make sure every person is happy with me and satisfied. The old man looked at the young man with a big smile on his face and said to him, My son, my hair has gone white and my beard like Bishop Murray, the good looking one, and I've never was able to satisfy people no matter what I did for them. He said, listen to what I'm saying. I am more experienced than you are. The young man insisted, no, I will prove to you, my old man, that today I'll make sure everyone is happy with me. The old man looked at the young man and uh, he said, looks like talking with him is not going to go any, anywhere. Okay, my son, let's see what you're going to do. They had a donkey. So the young man came with this genius idea. He said to the old man, he said, you get onto the donkey, you sit on the back of it, and I will, with this rope tied to the donkey, I will pull the donkey along. I'll walk and you sit on the back of it. He said, okay, son. So they come out, people would look at them, and then people said, what kind of a father is he for him to sit on the back of the donkey and let this poor son walk on foot? Shame on you, father didn't win so he went back again and he said look this time I will sit the young man I will sit on the back of the donkey and you old man pull the donkey he said okay son so they walk out people look and they say there you go a young person healthy strong sits on the back of the donkey and poor old man barely walking let him walk shame on you son didn't win so he goes back again and he said, okay, this time both of us will sit on the back of the donkey and we'll ride the donkey together. He said, okay, son. So they sit both of them on the back of the donkey and they go out. People look and they say, poor old donkey. All its life carries weight. Shame on both of you to sit and break the back of this donkey. You have no mercy. The young man goes back to the old man and he said, this time I got it. Both of us will walk and pull the donkey. So they come out walking both, pulling the donkey. People look and criticize them again and say, are you dumb or are you dumb? What is the donkey for? You leave the donkey and you both walk no brain. A young man gave up. The Lord says, John the Baptist came fasting. He said, you are demented. The Son of Man, meaning Jesus Christ, came eating and drinking and sitting with tax collectors and sinners. You said, how dare you? eat and drink and sit with sinners and tax collectors. The Lord said, okay, then what else satisfies you? Whichever way I come to you, you are always not happy. What makes you happy? He gave that example of that woman who was a sinner. What is the secret of contentment? What is the secret of saying I am happy and satisfied with whatever I have and whoever I have? The secret is one 
thing and one word. L-O-V-E. Love. Love is the secret. And this is why the Lord turned to Simon the Pharisee and said, This woman loved too much. That's why her great sins were forgiven because the more she loves, the more she is forgiven.